What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my in-game unarmed melee build. I'll be going over mutations you should have, legendary perks, regular perks, and the weapons I'm going to be using. I also have a few demonstrations coming up, so make sure you stick around for that, but before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fall 76 content, and let's get into it. Now over in mutations, I totally screwed all mine up, you definitely don't need all these, but I accidentally got irradiated without having the Sarge Jeans perk equipped, which messed a ton of things up. But what you're going to need is Adrenal Reaction because it gives plus weapon damage at low health, Talents because it gives plus 25% damage to unarmed builds, and it gives you a plus ble to bleed damage. Then you're going to need Twisted Muscles because it gives you plus 25% to melee attacks and has a chance to cripple your enemy. You could use whatever else you wanted to on top of those, but those are the main ones you're going to need. Now onto the perks. Now starting in the legendary perks, we have the Strength card maxed out. Exploding Palm, we definitely need to get this maxed out, but while unarmed, you have a 5% chance or higher to trigger an explosion attack on hits. Right now, it's only 5% for me, but if you rank it up, it will go higher. I have Intelligence card maxed out, Luck card maxed out, Endurance almost maxed out, and another must for this build would be Hack and Slash because a 20% chance for melee VATS attacks to do area damage. Absolutely nice, and this will again be higher if you rank it up more. These are the legendary perks, now let's get into the regular perks. So starting off in our normal perks, we have 15 in strength, and that is because this is where we're getting most of our damage for the unarmed build, but we have Barbarian, every point of strength adds a plus 4 damage resist, max 80, no power armor, and we're not even using power armor, so this is definitely useful for us. We have Iron Fist, your punching attacks now do a plus 20% more damage. This is, this is what you need for your unarmed build, guys. If you're missing out on this card, you're definitely running the wrong build. We have Blocker, take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. So if you never ran a melee build or anything, you are getting swarmed, guys. You are in the mix, you have the ghoul swarm in you, you have super mutants swarm in you, you have those hounds attacking you. This card is going to save your life when that happens. So make sure to have that as a melee build. Incisor. Your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. This is like tank killer for commando weapons very very useful guys and my favorite card out of the mix martial artist your melee weapons weigh 60 percent less and you can swing them 30 percent faster can i get an amen on that guys even if you don't have the faster swing speed you can swing them pretty fast i'm not gonna lie but if you do have the faster swing speed it's absolutely insane and over in perception i just have concentrated fire over here this perception's unusable for this build we have nothing useful in it whatsoever so over in endurance this is where we're getting a lot of our defense from we have a life giver gain a total of 45 to your maximum health very useful guys we have adamantium skeleton and this is going to help us from being crippled your limb damage is now reduced by 60 percent very useful card i definitely want to get it maxed out soon then we have fireproof take 45 percent less damage from explosions and flame attacks this is perfect if you're going against, you know, super mutants that usually have the giant missile launchers. You know, you might get hit with a grenade. You might get hit with one of those, you know, the flame and floaters. You got to be careful. We got Scorch Beasts flying around. Have this card on. This will save your life. Then we have Radical. The greater your rads, the greater your strength. Max at plus five. So first off, as a bloody build, you have your rads covering 75% of your bar already. So this is definitely going to boost your strength. And with your strength boost, it's going to boost your attack damage on your unarmed build. It's insane. You definitely need this card, guys. Now we have Charisma, Lone Wanderer. I wish I could get this maxed out, but I can't. When adventuring alone, take 15% less damage and gain 20% AP regain. Very useful. AP is a must in this game. It is your line of defense. Then I have Tenderizer over here. Make your, uh, your targets receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack them, guys. I mean, if they even last that long, but, you know, we got bigger targets in the game, so this is definitely going to be useful. Then over Intelligence, I didn't... Well, I'm a bloody build. I don't need this necessarily maxed first aid, but I don't have... I don't need anything else in first aid, I don't think. And let me know in the comments, does Demo Expert work with Exploding Palm? I really need to know that. And secondly, we have Nerd Rage. This is a bloody build, so while below 20% health, 
you gain 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regain. This is a must for all bloody builds. If you're running a bloody build, any bloody build, unarmed, commando, heavy gunner, you need Nerd Rage. Over in agility, this is where we're starting to get into our defense. This is where we're going to be, you know, this is where we're going to be surviving. We have Action Boy. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Evasive. Each agility point adds plus 3 damage and energy resist. Max 45. No power armor. Again, we're not even in power armor. Escape Artist. This isn't necessary, but sneak to lose the enemies. Running no longer affects stealth. So I definitely want to switch that out for Gunfu, but I don't have Gunfu right now. So I'm just having it as a supplement. Then we have Adrenaline, gain a plus 10%, max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill, duration refreshes after kill, or with kills. That's a very, very useful card. If you're trying to max out your damage, that one and Tenderizer, oh my goodness, guys. Insane. Then we have Dodgy. So we need our action points because avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. So, you know, if you don't have a high action bar or a fast AP refresh rate, you might be screwed. I'm not going to lie. You might be screwed. That's why I have my action boy maxed out. That's why I have my AP refresh armor. That way I don't die. But this one will avoid incoming damage and is very useful, guys. Especially because, again, we're going to be in the mix. Now, over in luck, we have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode into a glory red paste. I will take that. I do not care if they explode in glory red paste. I want the damage. So get your bloody mess, guys. Then we have Serpendipity. This is also a part of our defense. While below 30% health, which we are, gain 45% chance to avoid damage. No power armor, which we're not. Guys, Serpendipity, Dodgy, see you won't, if you have Serpendipity, your Dodgy won't go down as fast. They'll kind of like bounce off of each other and you will have a little better chance of surviving. But if you're just running Dodgy and you don't have any AP stuff, you might be screwed. But if you have Serpendipity, I will say Serpendipity runs better than Dodgy. If I was to choose between the two, Serpendipity all the way. Then we have Ricochet, gain 18% chance to deflect back some of the enemy's ranged damage not pvp we're not in pvp so if i'm using this card this card is like okay so we have blocker on so that's blocking everyone that's coming at us you know trying to hit us personally physically but then this will ricochet off the people that are shooting at us so if you're running by yourself and you're just in the mix guys you have a very good chance of surviving with this and blocker on and then you get your serpentipity and your dodgy you are golden you and i'm going to prove it to you too but this is absolutely insane and if you have a vampire's weapon this ricochet will help you this will heal you every time they ricochet back at the uh, enemy or whatever your vampire weapon will allow you to regenerate health like you're hitting them it's insane absolutely insane then we have starch jeans i should have been wearing this whenever i did my mutations but like yeah i screwed up that did i but you will never mutate from rads and rad away and will never cure mutations. So remember those mutations that I told you at the beginning? Make sure you get those and then put this on. That way you don't mess it up like I did. Then I have Class Freak and this is because of what I did. Ne the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 75%. So if you just do the mutations like I said at the beginning, you will not need this. I need this because... I screwed up, but if I didn't, I'd probably come in down here and I would find, you know, Vats hits now consume 55% of your critical meter. That's pretty nice. I don't know how I need, I still need to do some figuring out to see if that's, that works with unarmed builds and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure it still will. And same with the better criticals. Vats criticals now do 45 or 40% more damage. I'm not too sure. It might, it might not. Let me know down in the comments, or you could even have your Grim Reaper sprint. So there's a, definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot. And again, there's definitely perks that help us in our vats like that. Uh, hack and slash. Ooh, yeah. So definitely be looking out for that, guys. You may, you will not need class freak if you just set down those mutations I said at the beginning. But with that being said, let's get into the weapons. And the weapon we're going to be demonstrating this build with is one of my personal favorite. It is my bare arm. 
It has a faster swing speed, damage increased as health decreases, of course, because we are a bloody build, but also has a plus one to strength, which will boost our damage. It also has a puncturing mod. There is one more mod for this, but I do not have it. This is an insane weapon, guys. Now, let's get into the demonstrations. So starting off our demonstrations, we're at the Charleston Capitol building, and that is because there is a ton of ghouls here, and I need to invite them all to my party. Come on, come on, wake up. Wake up, ghoul, yeah. Yeah, you wake up, and you wake up over here. I know you're over here. So there is a ton of ghouls in here, and we're gonna try to get them all riled up, all ready to go, and then we're gonna punch them in the face. We're gonna falcon punch them in the face. But we gotta make sure we get them all. You know, we ain't slacking, you know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh oh. Holy. Look at that. Uh oh. Alright, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Ay, 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 ay. Boom. 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 75. Cent Look at that, guys. 753. Oh, need to watch my health. Need to watch my health. And now with a heavy attack, like over a thousand. 1,200 or something. Wow. This is an insane build. Still getting a little bit of rads, but I think that's from the unstoppable isotope. Maybe I need to switch out or put ghoulish in so I don't die. <laughs> that is insanity. On to another demonstration. And now we're at West Tech Research Center, and that is because we have our level 75 super mutants over here, and hopefully they'll do a little bit less radiation damage and more ballistic damage. So I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna stir them all up, you know, get them all mad at me, that way y'all can kind of see the survivability. We'll even take a nuke. Like, we didn't even feel that, you know why? Fireproof. Like, come on, hit me, doggy. Hit me, doggy. Look, just use one stim pack. And we're surviving, guys. Look at that. Now, it's time to purge. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right, all right, that's it. Ooh, ooh, did we just one hit him with the that's it? Let's go. Boom. Remember, the faster swing speed, the better on this thing. And you can go with a high health build, but if you go with a high health build, I advise you going with an anti-armor one, or a junkies build or even the vampires build because if you have ricochet on with the vampires again that will heal you let's end these dudes lives real quick boom boom i feel like a superhero when i'm in bats with this because i'm like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah teleport it's insane as you can see this is destroying it and i'm surviving no problemo guys did y'all see that laser on the ground there was a laser on the ground huh Anyways, let's get on, there it is. Let's get on to the bigger target. And now we're a little bit south of Solomon's Pond. And what's a build video or a demonstration without coming and picking on Stan himself? Let's go. Mr. Super Mutant, I've been picking on all your family and all your friends. And this time I'm not sneaking. I'm not sneaking. Look at his health. Boom. Boom. Devastated, guys. We just destroyed him. He's gonna think twice about spawning again until I come back then he's gonna be spawned again but guys this is my in-game melee build unarmed and again there is a few things I can do which is by upgrading those legendary perks but all in all this is a solid build and I do recommend you using it if you like unarmed builds guys but with that being said make sure you smash that like button subscribe for more fall 76 content and I shall see you in the next one peace